Okay, this can be sound kind of messy, so put down a drop sheet or some cardboard or something. Take a nylon and tie the two legs together at the top. You can snip off the legs, you can use it uh, for gallon cans, but on a five gallon can it works nicely, the whole waistband around there. And for extra security, I usually like to put a, a roll of tape just around like that. Then I empty all my cans of paint into here as I've done with this. Clean them all up into here. Get some of my greatest colors this way. And then you take this off. If I can get closer to that, that's an amazing shot right there. Okay, okay so then, uh, then you take uh, the nylon off like this here and you got all your paint in there. Take it off carefully and you pull it up like this. And you got all the junk from the paint that you've collected in similar colors. And you can get some a lot of beautiful colors. There's nothing wrong with the paint. It's just that it's a little of this, a little of that. Then you put it in like that. Take two paint sticks like this here. And go like down here. And just pull uh, the rest of the, uh, push the rest of the paint rather out like that. All right, do it a couple times, whatever, until you get all that out of there. And then take the last bit and just throw it away. And then you got your uh, nice clean paint. This can be uh, mixed up. And you got a great color. And if you're too dark or too light, you just add a little bit of this or that. I got the tints here, which we use on the job to get it uh, fine tune it if we need to. Or you can add some paint from a lighter can to lighten it if you need to. Thanks.